This is Matrix Lord 212. So the other day, I took a trip to GameStop. And I was looking at video games, but then I was surprised that they finally got a Marvel Legends Spider-Man villain. Because all the time when I go into GameStop, I'm always looking for, like, villains for my Spider-Man villain wall. And for, like, the whole year, like, there's nothing there, right? Finally, they get the action figure, Hollow's Eve. And I'm like, oh, my God. The one time I really shouldn't buy it, it's out. And if I don't buy it, I'm never going to get it again. So take a look at this. So I had to have it. I bought it. I put it on my wall. Um, and now it's uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that there's a Kindred figure. Because in the comics, Kindred was a really awesome looking villain. Uh, I don't want to review anything about him, but he he was really, really awesome looking. And I'm surprised that he didn't get an action figure, but Hallow's Eve did. Because she's after him. So that was weird. Uh, but again, um, hopefully I could recollect the villains once I go back to work. Um, because right now, there's going to be no spending after that on anything like that. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go back to my gaming have a great day today. Today is the solar eclipse, right? My God. So I don't think I'm going out. I don't think so. They're saying, don't look at the sun, go blind. I'm not going to look at the sun if I do go out, but I doubt I'm going out. Um, hopefully, I have a good gaming day. The other day, I didn't have a good gaming day. Maybe today I will. Never know, right? I, I do most of my gaming in the wee hours in the morning anyway. So... Me yesterday was struggling because when I was doing a stream, wasn't feeling good, was tired. I played Orion Haste. Now, um, I was doing a live stream. I just want to make people aware, right? There, there was a comment that was made right before I left, right? Where, and again, I, I welcome Paul, Paul Lamb back to the fray for comments. Uh, but he's like, unknown, which unknown is, that's the name of my game advisor. He's like, this is a 15 minute plot, right? So, like, I was talking to unknown about that. I'm like, is he kidding, right? So, I was looking at the video about Orion Haste. Now, there was this one, um, I guess, a YouTube group or whatever. They did a walkthrough on Orion Haste. And what I found funny was, after they passed the first level, which they went through the first level into the boss level, so it was like two levels in one, and they only died twice, right? They lost two, you know, two lives, and they had like 12, and then it went down, was it 12? 14. They had 14, and it went down to 12. I pointed out to Unknown, I'm like, look, when they start the next level, which is a level I actually skipped that level. I didn't do the motorcycle level. I, I want to do the level after that, which is probably why that was a mistake. Um, because I thought that the, the boss level was level two, so I don't want to repeat it. So uh, when they did it, they started with like six lives. And I'm like, you see, just because somebody makes a 15-minute video on how to beat the game doesn't mean it took them 15 minutes. Like, they died numerous, numerous, numerous times before they perfected the art of just doing the level the right way, or each level the right way. So, this person who was doing the video probably died so many times, didn't realize it, and in the edit, it just went from 12 lives to 6 lives when it went to the next level. So, that's why I was laughing. Don't, don't really think that... It takes people 15 minutes to beat the game when these people are editing it. And you see many times gaming videos is edited where they'll die unexpectedly or something. And then something's off when you see the next level, like the points are off or whatever. Because they want to just show you how to do the level, but they don't want to capture that they died a million times, right? So, um, again, that game was like a Contra ripoff. 
didn't like it at first. Then I went to go do it back. And the biggest mistake is I shouldn't really stream when I'm not feeling well. So if I'm running back and forth to the bathroom, that's no good. I can't even stream like that. And then also, like, when I get hungry, I got to stop. Like, I got to stop the stream because I have issues with my sugar. I need sugar, right? So, like, if my sugar gets low, I have to eat. So the hell with the stream. Like, I'm sorry. I have to go run and eat. Can't, like, put it off. Can't sit there and not eat. So don't think that I'm terrible at everything. Like, Yes, when I played Bloodborne, I sucked so bad until I worked to perfection to be better. But that's what you do when you play a video game the first time, is you learn how to play it and go through it. So you're not going to be perfect when you're playing it the first or second time, getting it the whole thing in 15 minutes. And then anybody that tells you, like, these people that are great, like they do these videos and walkthroughs, they died a million fucking times before they perfected it. So I don't think they got it on the first go, honestly. Even with, say, Crash Bandicoot 4, people do videos on that. And they're so well, and they're like, wow. Yeah, they died a million times, dudes and dudettes. So don't don't look at the video and think, oh, my God, uh, they did the perfect fucking playthrough. No, that Orion Haste, they, that person died numerous times. It was an edit. So they still showed you how to do it, but it was an edit. All right. On that note, this is Matrix Vlog. And what else do I have to say? Um, just be careful out there today. That's all. Um, don't know what it's going to be like, but don't look at the sun. And we'll see how my game goes. Hopefully I could get a whole bunch of plots. And I don't know what releases are coming out to ask on them, but other than that, you have a great day. Maybe I'll have some live streams later. Take care. Bye for now.